In this video, you'll see how you can enable AWS support with ServiceNow. With the AWS Service Management Connector for ServiceNow, you can leverage the ServiceNow incident management process throughout the AWS support ticket lifecycle and synchronize case-related communication between the two services. This is our ServiceNow account, which is already configured with the AWS Service Management Connector. To get started, let's locate our AWS accounts. Here are the AWS accounts we have already configured for this ServiceNow instance. Let's look at AWS Support Integration. These are the required configurations. Notice that we have selected Integrate with AWS Support. This setting allows us to seamlessly generate support cases in AWS when we create incidents in ServiceNow. To see how this works, let's go to AWS Support within ServiceNow and record a new incident. We'll need to fill in the required fields, beginning with the subject line. Let's also provide a brief description of the issue. For AWS account, we'll select AWS Support Integration. For AWS Service, we'll select Alexa Services. And for AWS Category, we'll select APIs. For Caller, we'll select our job title. Finally, we'll save the form to create the incident in ServiceNow. Once submitted, the incident is automatically assigned an AWS Case ID. Let's reload the form so we can see it. Now let's visit the AWS Support Center to see whether a case has been created for the incident. Let's refresh the dashboard. The incident we just submitted in ServiceNow is listed in our Open Support Cases. Let's view it. Here are the details we entered. As you can see, the case status is unassigned. From this page, we can correspond with ServiceNow. Let's reply to the initial message about the issue. We can respond through the web, by chat, or by phone. We can also attach files. We'll use the web option to submit the correspondence directly to ServiceNow. Let's return to ServiceNow to check that the message has been received. First, we'll sync the incident with AWS. Let's access the incident's notes. As you can see, the comment submitted through AWS support now appears in the incident record. We also have the option to send file attachments between the services. Let's choose a file to upload. The attachment uploaded successfully. Now let's return to the AWS Support Center and look for the uploaded file in the correspondence record. Let's refresh the page. The attachment was successfully added to the incident record. After the issue has been worked on, we can resolve the incident in ServiceNow. We'll need to fill in some required fields on the Resolution Information tab. We'll select the applicable resolution code and enter a note. Now we'll resolve the incident. The incident now appears as Resolved in ServiceNow. The form indicates that the AWS case status is resolved as well. Let's see how the resolution appears in the AWS Support Center. We'll refresh the page. We can see here that the case status is resolved. We also have correspondence from Amazon Web Services letting us know the case has been resolved. You've just seen how you can enable AWS support with ServiceNow with the AWS Service Management Connector for ServiceNow. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.